and we're here to tell you how it might affect you. DTV if you watch PBS available. from time to time, you may have caught this commercial before. The, the host from this old house telling you all TV stations will broadcast great, only in digital by February 17, 2009. But seven months before then, WGFL in Gainesville will shut off its analog switch, meaning viewers using antennas won't be able to tune in the station's CBS programming anymore. WGFL General Manager Todd Sinner says his station's early transition this Friday will help the FCC realize whether the switchover will be problematic. We talked to the, the FCC and they were all for it. They're, they're kind of excited about stations doing this so that uh, we can get through this conversion with as little problems as possible. I'm not sure, but we're probably one of the first stations in the country to do it. Now for those of you running on an antenna without a digital tuner, it's not as scary as it might seem to set up a digital converter box. First, you have the antenna hooked up to the digital converter box. You take the audio and video cords, hook them up to the digital converter. You take the other end of the audio and video cords and then hook them up to the television. You turn on the TV, turn on the converter box, run through some menus, and voila, you've got free television. WGFL's chief engineer thinks people will be thankful for the switchover. Everybody is going to be viewing digital within six months uh, when all the analog goes away. Uh, at this point, it's uh, a good thing for people to do. It's just a far superior way to receive your television signals. So uh, it may be a bit of a push for people, but it's a good thing for them in the end. Better picture, crisper sound, and even more channels is sure to make anyone a happier TV watcher. Wes Franklin, WUFT News.